One of the basic tools that you need for self-reliance and for SHTF is a good air rifle, a good pellet rifle, one that is really accurate. And I'll tell you guys, I've been searching for a while and it's just overwhelming. The number of different type air rifles, what's out on the market, there's a lot of reviews out there and for what you're looking for. This is one of the Hatson Model 95s. Uh, this comes in the 177. It also comes in a 22 and 25 caliber. Uh, it has a beautiful walnut stock to it. And we're going to look at a lot of the features, but I'm going to talk about this rifle in particular because I, I really want to recommend this rifle for a number of reasons. Now, I got this particular hat sun from airgundepot.com, and they have a number of different air guns. Uh, in fact, so many, just the Hatson alone has so many different models. And what we were really looking for, and I told them, I said I wanted something that would be an excellent quality, but yet it would be budget-minded. Uh, because as you guys know, you know, when you're doing a lot of preps, uh, it can be very expensive. And so I wanted something, though, that was quality that would stand up, because you don't want something that's going to fail. So I think that the Hatson puts together a good budget air rifle, and yet with good quality features. I've seen a lot of different reviews on this rifle and there are just so many that love it. I mean it's just an excellent a lot of testing that goes into it. It does come with a 3x9 scope which really makes it nice. Uh, one of the things about an air rifle is you want an air rifle scope because the uh, action is somewhat violent. I mean it's not as much recoil as a really centerfire rifle but it is more recoil than your standard 22. One of the great things though is it is really accurate. All the testing that I did, and I did it anywhere from 15 to 25 yards, uh, just trying to get some accuracy in the mix. And really we're gonna do some more extended accuracy with this rifle a little bit later. Now one of the great things about an air rifle is that it is quiet. So you can do training, you can set up a range at home, uh, as long as you have a decent backstop. It doesn't have to be anything extravagant but you, you need to definitely have a backstop because the bullets uh, or these pellets are actually they're moving pretty fast in fact the uh, model 95 purports and from everything i've seen to be about 800 feet per second which is really excellent considering it's uh, throwing down range a pellet that can be you know about 15 to 14 grains they are made for hunting this is a hunting pellet rifle so, you know, with a 25 caliber, you're not going to just sting something. You're really going to be able to kill it if you need to. Whether it's for food, whether it's a pest that's around your house that you need to keep quiet. It does have a suppressor on the front. That's one of the beautiful things about air rifles uh, is that they can have a suppressor. Now, you're not getting all the gas that you're getting with a regular firearm, so it works a lot differently. But this is going to help even keep it quieter than it already is. One of the things you're going to notice, too, is this little fiber optic front little uh, sight. And it really glows during the daytime. But you also have a fully adjustable rear sight with fiber optic rods in here as well. Uh, you have windage and elevation. Uh, just a very nice little sight for the rifle. And as I've stated, the scope is included. This is an Optima 3x9x32. Uh, the rings are included. It fits on this 11 millimeter base, which is typical for a lot of the air rifles. Because of the spring piston design, uh, you're going to get some recoil that's different than a regular firearm. And because of that, you really need an air gun scope or a pellet gun scope. A lot of people, from all the reviews I've watched and looked and all the research I've done, they weren't all that excited about the Optima scope. Uh, but I'll tell you from my experience, no, it's not the best, but it's a great go-to scope ready to go on your rifle. Uh, if you want to upgrade, you can, but really I was getting exceptional accuracy out of this little scope. First group here at the range, that's three shots. Here's the group that we got on video. Next group, next group. These are both at the bottom six shot groups. You can see that the accuracy on this is phenomenal. And of course, to attach the scope, you just screw it on. Um, I would recommend that you tighten these down pretty tight and a little bit of Loctite or thread locker would not hurt. But again, I've shot quite a few rounds out of this and it's still really tight. 
One of the things you will notice is this stop right here. And you bring the scope back to the stop and this keeps it from vibrating back on the, the rifle. Uh, and also it helps with stability. So I thought that was a really neat touch. Now here's your safety and every time you cock the rifle your safety will be engaged and then you just push it forward for fire. It's really intuitive once you get started uh, just to cock it, you come back to aim and then you just take your thumb and push it into place. It is a spring piston design. The barrel actually breaks down. You bend the barrel and of course you have a place to put your pellet in. It is a single shot and that's what most of them are. It features a really nice butt pad. It is a little tacky. Uh, so I, I know when I was shooting it, I was catching on my shirt just a touch, but it was no big deal. Uh, you know, I did say the recoil is violent on this, but you know, it's more than a 22, a standard 22 rimfire. But it's not that bad. You can keep it on target. The good thing is there's no noise. So you don't have the recoil and the noise. And so it's really easier to master. Now Hatson has the SAS and that is a shock absorber system this built in so it's going to reduce the recoil anyway uh, that's built into the brake with the uh, the spring that causes this there is an, a system that actually will absorb the shock to help now that also helps with your optics because one of the problems is with an air rifle is because of the jarring and the action scopes can have a problem so you definitely need to make sure you if you do replace the optic that's on here you replace it with an air rifle scope but I really found that the recoil on this rifle was really nice. Another really cool feature about this rifle is the Quattro trigger system. And it is a two-stage trigger. It is adjustable. There are adjustment points right here that you can adjust this. Uh, so it really makes it nice. I know when I was shooting, uh, the trigger was just buttery smooth and you know really getting good shots. I'm gonna tell you guys the accuracy on this rifle was phenomenal. In fact the first day I got it I took it I was standing on my porch and my shooting range is about a hundred yards away and I had a steel target down there I aimed and the first time I shot it I hit the target that was without the scope. Now one of the things about the 800 feet per second a lot of the companies will give you data on their uh, velocity but they're using aluminum alloy pellets that are really lightweight that are going to really fly. These are tested with standard lead pellets. So it is a true 800 feet per second. In fact, all the reviews that I've seen and testimonies are saying that it is really close to 800 feet per second. And so that's really going to give you a lot of umph coming out of the end of this barrel. Now one of the real quality features of the Hatson is they use German steel. All the internals, the barrel, uh, everything is made from high quality, heat treated by German factories and that really ups the ante to this rifle. Uh, so you're really getting really exceptional quality using those kind of steels. The barrel is solid steel. Uh, your suppressor is again a polymer. Uh, sometimes you'll have a plastic barrel with a steel insert and that's going to have a very thin steel insert. There's going to be a lot of vibration. With the, the solid steel you're getting a lot of quality and it's going to hold up much longer. Especially when you're grabbing this barrel and you're pulling it down to cock it and to insert a pellet. The barrel is just under 18 inches. It's 17.7 inches in length. And overall the rifle is 44.3 inches. 
Now considering recoil, the gun itself weighs about 9 pounds with the scope. It weighs 8.4 pounds without the scope in the rings. So it is a fairly uh, weighty firearm. But with the recoil that it has, this really helps to manage it. And of course, again, with your suppressor on the end, that also deafens the, the noise uh, signature. You know, and one of the things about this, the noise just isn't that bad. And that'll allow you to shoot in your backyard, uh, shoot out in the woods, whatever. You know, you are where maybe if you had a firearm, you would draw a lot of attention. And having an air gun really helps in that. It keeps that down to a stealth. You can train without people knowing that you're training. Uh, your neighbors wondering, you know, man, there's a lot of gunfire going off. And, you know, one of the things about shooting around your house. Now, I have a shooting range here at my house. And uh, I just happen to be lucky enough to have that. But, uh, you know, a lot of people say, well, aren't you afraid that people are going to hear the gunfire and then break into your house? Well, that could be. Uh, but that's not going to stop me from shooting. But if you really are concerned about that, this would help having a nice air rifle. Uh, you know, and you can get air pistols and different things like that. The Hatson Air Rifle Company is based in Turkey. One of the things, though, here lately, we've been getting so many firearms from Turkey. It's just amazing. And for the quality... Uh, for the money, it's just hard to beat. And so uh, this is the Model 95. It does come not only in the 22 caliber, but it also comes in a 25 caliber and the .177 caliber. And so you, you have a lot of options. It also comes in other models with synthetic stocks. Uh, this is their walnut stock, and it is a beautiful stock. The checkering right on the forward grip is really nice. And right here at the grip of the stock. It's just very well done. Now here we have the 25 caliber, the 22 caliber, and the 177 caliber. Gives you an idea of the, the size of the projectile. And then of course here laid on their side again the 25, 22, and the 177 caliber. So you've got a really great range, but I really think the 22 caliber is an excellent choice. You're getting 800 feet per second. You're getting about 660 feet per second with the 25 caliber and then with the 177 it's over a thousand feet per second but it is a small projectile. Now there are so many different kind of pellets. You have your rounded off pellets. You have some that are more of a field pellet uh, that have more of a hollow point and you know choosing the right pellet for you uh, you know that's one of the things and you really need to do your own research there. Uh, you can also buy pellets there at uh, Air Gun Depot, which I'm, I highly recommend those guys uh, because they have such great service. And I'll tell you, these they were they have been on top of everything. And again, that's one of the things that's really important when I'm dealing with companies is how they react and respond. This is the 22 caliber, and this has 500 pellets. And then you have the 500 pieces here. It's a really tall can. And then of course we have 250 here. This really gives you a lot of shooting time. Great for kids. Uh, you know, I learned on a pellet gun or a BB gun and then a pellet gun and really learned a lot of my accuracy with a pellet rifle. Uh, a lot of how to shoot, uh, all the fundamentals again are all the same. And so, you know, this is a great reason too, just the inexpensive uh, cost in shooting. For some comparison, I have my Crossman 3100. Had this for a number of years. It's in the 177 caliber and it's been great. I keep it here in my shop and, you know, in case any kind of pest or anything, uh, you know, and it really is, has been a tried and true. Uh, but one of the things about the Crossman is, is the quality is not, it doesn't even match close to the Hatson. One of the things too is, you know, the, the Hatson is made in Turkey, but the Crossmans are made in Spain. So, you know, you are buying imported rifles. In fact, most of your air guns are being made overseas. You're really high quality. Of course, the Germans uh, with the RWS and a lot of the other high-end uh, air rifles, you know, but the price reflects that. And that's one of the reasons why, really, I wanted to go with the Hatson is to get a good quality rifle and yet still have money left over, you know, instead of really spending the money for what I was looking for. And so I think that the Hatson is just an excellent choice. Now the Hatson Model 95, and that is the 22 caliber, uh, with all the features that we're showing, uh, the retail price on this, the manufacturer suggested retail, is $190. On Airgun Depot, these run $149.99. Now that's not all that special because I've seen it for that same price in a number of other websites for air guns. 
but Air Gun Depot is offering a 10% discount if you put Such2015 in the coupon code. So you're going to get an extra $15 off the price, which really makes this attractive. So, you know, you're getting a really high quality rifle, one that's really accurate. You're getting your bundle with the scope and uh, all the other features that this rifle has. I think this is a great deal. And I really appreciate Airgun Depot for offering that discount to the Suits viewers. The guys there at Airgun Depot watched the Suits channel and were really interested in putting this on the Sensible Prepper channel especially. And uh, for all the reasons though we've talked about. I mean when you're talking about training, you're talking about hunting, you know varmints, keeping varmints out, and really just a lot of fun. With a good accurate air rifle it makes it a lot of fun. Great for the kids to get out and learn. Uh, so there's just a lot of reasons to have a really good pellet rifle in your arsenal. And one of the great things is, again, it's really cheap to shoot. So if you're looking for a good high quality pellet rifle, I definitely recommend Air Gun Depot. Check them out. Uh, there's a lot of other brands, a lot of other styles, and it doesn't matter what you order on the website if you use the Such 2015 code. And of course that includes your pellets as well. But I think that the Hatson Model 95 is just an excellent choice with quality and yet on a budget. The Hatson Model 95 pumps way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Yeah, I'm nuts. I'm out here in this rain. <laughs> Crazy. Guys, I don't care if I get wet. It's these cameras. <laughs> you may see very few suits reviews after this video. <laughs>